I'm alive and well. What's going on guys? How's it going? I haven't vlogged in a long time. Today guys, we are going to donate blood. This is my first time ever donating blood. Matt does it every so often. How often do you donate? Every three months. Every three months. Yep. So why should somebody, you, donate blood? Because you can save lives. <laughs> Right now, my appointment's at 5.45, and it is currently 5.45, so I gotta get going and hit the road. So I haven't had a needle in me in some years. It's been a couple of years since I had the good old needle injection. See, but then during your blood, when you give it, it's only like a 10, 15 minute process, and then once you're done, you have a time to sit there and just make sure that you're not gonna like faint or pass out or anything, since they do take quite a bit of blood out. You know, a lot of people always ask this question when you hear donating blood. They say donating blood, and then they ask, do you get paid? <laughs> do yeah. you get paid to donate blood? You don't get uh, paid to donate blood, but you get points every time that you donate, and then you can get like gift cards and stuff like that. You gotta do it for the donation purpose though. You do. You're doing it for a good cause, saving somebody's life. And now it's called Vitalant. Vitalant. It's no longer the United Blood Service. This is where it is. First time donating blood. <laughs> and also finding out what my blood type is. This is probably pretty important. This is important. All right, let's do this thing. Something that's super important is you gotta eat. Matt got gifted with some sun chips, some cool Doritos. Didn't mean to interrupt your conversation, but it's a really important tip. I decided to go with the harvest cheddar. Oh yeah. All right, getting ready for the donation. Matt's already getting his going. How's it looking? Look at that. How'd it feel? Feels weird. Yeah. <laughs> Always, every time. <laughs> Here's my chair. Thank you, squeezes for me. Nice. Ties again. A squeezes again. <laughs> It's about to go down. Three squeezes, good hold on your third. One, two, three. Giggy, 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 ah, ha, 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 It's a big needle. It is. Got all that nice, healthy, strong blood. So as a male, if you regularly donate, you can reduce your risk of a cardiovascular event by 50%. So heart attack Get out. Mm -hmm. As a male? Mm -hmm. Yep. If you Why is that? Donate, um, men tend to have higher hemoglobin, you have more iron in your blood, and so by bringing that down a little bit, that reduces those type of um, events. Every two seconds, someone needs blood in the U.S. One in seven people entering a hospital needs blood. Studies go. indicate that up to 90% of the population will use blood before the age of 70. And there's no substitute for human blood, so it can't be made artificially. The only way we can get it is for people to give. You typically burn 600 calories when you donate blood. Here's the workout for the day. <laughs> we are finished up. All these cool contraptions. It wasn't on this one either. So I found out that today is National Blood Donation Day. Just so happened to be the first time donating blood. Ready to take it out. Yeah, there's the needle. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ow! The tape? Does it hurt going out? Going out. Oh, jeez, nope. We're good. Right, so so there is the blood packets. So how many lives will that save? Three. Three lives. That's pretty cool. Just chilling in the lounge area. This is our eating segment of every vlog that we do. <laughs> Today it's Lay's Grandma's Cookies. Gram oh, they have Grandma's Cookies over there? Boom. What? Those are the best. Go to hotel vending machine snack. Grandma's cookies. After you're done with your blood donation, you come over and dig into some food. So Matt was just awarded his one gallon pin. How does it feel, man? It feels awesome. There's maybe some cloudiness around the idea of donating because you just don't know what you're getting into. Or you're scared of the needles. Scared of the needles, whatever it may be. But it's worth doing at least one time in your life. The only way that people can get blood is if people donate. So if we don't donate, 
people die. Go and donate blood and change some lives. Save some lives. And if you're a male, reduce your risk of heart disease by 50%. I love you guys. We'll see you later.